Good day, I am William Theo, and this is PTV News Now. Government officials of San Francisco warmly welcome President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. along with First Lady Attorney Luis Araneta Marcos. Marcos safely arrived in California together with the Philippine delegation for the 30th Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation or APEC Economic Leaders Meeting and related activities. The president seeks to prioritize and secure beneficial trade and investment, quality and green jobs, human development and poverty alleviation. He emphasized his attendance in this APEC summit is vital for the country, especially since the regional bloc serves as the most important platform for trade investment and economic cooperation. Meanwhile, this week's APEC summit is expected to bring U.S. President Joe Biden and Chinese President Xi Jinping together for their first face-to-face -face meeting since they spoke on the sidelines of the G20 summit meeting in Bali, Indonesia in November of 2022. VOA's Elizabeth Lee reports from San Francisco. I'm Elizabeth Lee for VOA in San Francisco, California. This is where the APEC leaders meeting is taking place this week in the building behind me, the Moscone Center. And leaders from 21 member states of the Asia Pacific will be meeting here, including Chinese President Xi Jinping and U.S. President Joe Biden. So security is tight. Take a look. There's this makeshift fence that surrounds the building and the areas around it. And so they've been slowly upping the security to where today average cars can't be driving down these streets. Some pedestrians can, but in order to get inside the building, you'll still need a special pass and they'll check the pass before you get inside. And a second time after you enter the building, there are also lots of police officers around. Just in our hotel alone yesterday, some 700 California Highway Patrol officers showed up. They were staying there. That's just state police. You also have local San Francisco police as well as federal police. Lots of security around just for this leaders meeting because lots of heads of state will be there. Check us out more on the APEC Summit at voanews.com and on social media. I'm Elizabeth Lee for VOA News in San Francisco. Tens of thousands of Jewish Americans rallied on Tuesday in Washington, D.C. in support of Israel to call for the release of the hostages kidnapped by Hamas and to reject anti-Semitism. VOA's Veronica Balderas Iglesias covered the March for Israel. Under the watchful eye of several law enforcement agencies, thousands of Jewish Americans gathered Tuesday at the National Mall in Washington to express support for Israel and call for the release of the hostages kidnapped by the militant group Hamas during a terrorist incursion into Israel on October 7. Just like you have, uh, Israel made a corridor so that Gazan refugees who wanted to leave, who were in fear of their lives, they made a safe passage for them. I'd like to see a safe passage for the 240 kidnapped Israelis that were taken from their homes. Uh, everybody saw what Hamas did. And of course, I, I pray for, you know, to, to minimize uh, civilian casualties. Rally goers also denounced all forms of anti Semitism. I've never experienced so much anti-Semitism in my life. I'm used to anti-Semitism, but not at this level. There were also calls for the United States to ramp up its support to Israel. I think that more financial aid is needed. I think that making sure that the Middle East stays safe is a huge priority for the United States. Among the thousands of people who gathered for the March for Israel, there was a subgroup of people who had a different set of views concerning the conflict in the Middle East. They participated under the banner of the Peace Bloc and were led by lobbying groups such as J Street and the NGO Americans for Peace Now. Some questioned aspects of Israel's military offensive in Gaza. I wouldn't consider it a counter demonstration. I would consider it a piece of the larger conversation. What we need immediately is we need a pause in the fighting. We need a humanitarian pause. We condemn Hamas's actions. However, we believe that to fight war crimes with more war crimes does not solve the problem. Others share their views on what should happen when the fighting ends. I'm in favor of a two-state solution. I think that's the only solution. We care about Israel deeply. 
and we care about the Palestinians, and we want to see both of those people with dignity, sovereignty, freedom. Despite the wide variety of opinions among Jewish Americans who participated in the March for Israel, and a couple of tense moments during encounters with Jewish Orthodox protesters on the sidelines of the main event, the rally was held and concluded in an environment of peace. Veronica Valderas Iglesias, VOA News, Washington. This is William Theo urging all of you to stay informed, be aware, get ahead, be of use, get the news right here.